Hello all. In today's video, we are going to discuss the scope of software testing in telecom domain. So basically, uh, the software testing in telecom domain is you can say is a crucial due to the complexity and critical nature of telecom systems. So uh, we can say in telecom domain, there is a broad scope of software testing. So basically, what are the different types of testing comes under the telecom domain? So first and the most important testing type is a network and infrastructure testing. So as a software tester, you have scope to validate the software managing network components like switches, routers and base stations. This includes the uh, performance reliability and scalability testing so as a software tester if you uh, want to work in a telecom domain industry or the companies which are working for the telecom domain so these are the some you can say these are the some broad areas so uh, in this particular areas these companies are working so the next is service assurance testing so what happens in service assurance testing here uh, as a tester you ensure the software that monitors and maintains the quality of telecom services for which are functioning correctly or not like this covers the fault detection performance monitoring and reporting then the billing and charging system so here uh, the focus is on the verifying the accuracy of billing invoicing and charging system and ensuring they handle the various tariffs discounts and the usage accurately then crm testing so here test the software used for the customer management including handling the uh, inquiries then some service request or you can say the customer data management so basically the crm testing uh, which is the you can say is the most important types of testing because here uh, the uh, the soft means the customer related information is get stored and or uh, you are testing the you are directly working on the customer data so you can say this is uh, this testing is very important in telecom domain then in app what happens in application testing so it covers the testing of uh, telecom specific applications like you can see some mobile apps or VoIP applications or web portals which ensures that they meet the functional and usability requirement then what happens in protocol testing so it involves the verifying compliance of telecom protocols like uh, 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 some protocols or standards which ensures the interoperability and proper communication between different network elements then in security testing so it ensures that telecom systems are secure from vulnerabilities and attacks so it includes the data protection network security and access control then what happens under integration testing in integration testing it verifies the different software components and the systems like for example network management system customer care system work together then intended then in performance testing it assess the system performance under various conditions it include the load testing stress testing scalability testing to ensure it can handle a high volume of data and the users then the next type is a regulatory compliance testing so basically in telecom domain you need to ensure that the software others to industry standards and regulations which can vary by regions and the telecom sectors then in user acceptance testing it com confirms that the software meet and uh, meets the need and expectations of the end user and stakeholders before it deploy in the live environment so uh, you can say testing in the telecom domain requires deep understanding of you can say the both technical and business aspects to ensure the reliability and efficiency of a service delivery so basically you can say in telecom domain as a software tester you can play a very important role in ensuring the reliability performance and functioning of the uh, various telecom systems so uh, here uh, uh, so here uh, we'll make a next video on the roles and responsibilities of software testers in the telecom domain so thank you all and please do comment on which point you want a next video